Hey everybody, welcome back with Toe the Oblivion Walker. Um, we're going to continue on through the Daedra quests. Um, we are going to work on getting Azura Star. Before I do that, I'm going to do some skill training here with Dravis, because I haven't actually... Yeah, sorry Dravis, not quite yet. I want to go and sleep first, because I want to I want to get to 50, um, 50 illusion right now. That's what I want. So I can get the quiet casting perk, which will help me very much... I know I've been doing alteration training, mostly, um, but with quiet casting, alteration will be a lot easier to level as well, because I'll be able to just cast alteration spells as I'm roaming around. So, I'm going to go with the rest. That's not my bed. My bed's the next one. This one, this is my bed. I'll sleep for an hour. It's not well rested or, or lover's comfort or anything. It's just rested, but that's still fine. It'll help. So, with the rested bonus and the mage stone... It'll hopefully get us from... Four, we're at 44 right now, guys. Let's see? So if I train five times, hopefully that will put me up to 50. Or 49. And then if I just cast, like, a couple illusion spells, we'll get up to 50. So, where are you at, big guy? That's not your room. You know, I've been here probably a thousand times. Like, you still can't remember which room's which. Okay. Train me. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So this actually might level me up, too, which is good. Because I need a perk point. Yep. Nice. So, um, no reason to wait. We can go and just do our level up. And we're going to dump into health again. And I got a perk point waiting. So as soon as I get, uh, um, as soon as I get 50, which is pretty close, I'll be able to do that. So I don't know if I have enough to sell them stuff to get my money back. Um, those still aren't worth anything, eh? Um, but I can go make a couple potions to... Yeah, I want those. I got two of these, but I need quite a bit more of those, so... Um, sell them the wine. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to go make some potions to... Uh, oh, I have enough for eight potions right here. Uh, eight times, t like, 250 or whatever that was is only, like... 2,000 of our gold back, so I guess I gotta make like 16 potions-ish. Okay, we'll grab the ingredients to make potions. Make potions, get our money back. This might have been one of the times it would have been really useful just to join the Thieves Guild to get the 10% better prices, just because we're doing a lot of shopping and we don't have anything to really buff our uh, the amount of money we're getting. So let's grab 10 more of each of these. 10 more, please. Uh, let's make it 15. 15 more. And where's the hanging moss? So I would like 15 of these. And 15 lavender. And then that should be enough. I'm just hoping it doesn't push us too far, like, into this level progression. I'm thinking the quiet casting perk is going to be extremely helpful for, uh, Elianata's Deep. So... Let's go check this out. In we go. Hall of Countenance. Run up and make the potions. Okay, so. Actually, let's do a quick save first, just in case we botch this, because I'm not really dying for my alchemy to get crazy high level, so I'm not even going to get the Thief Stone before I do this. It's not really that important to me. Oh, these are worse. I'm just going to make them all. Okay, there we go. Whew, half a level. Holy crow. Alright, big guy. Need something? I do. I need my money back. So, you wish to master the Pay up, kid. Pay up. Oh, he freaking got rid of all my gold. I only left for an hour. That's bull plot. It's not really a big deal, guys. Like, we're at we're at no shortage of getting gold. Like, I could just go to all these merchants in this place and clear them out. Like, I can go over to Feralda. But I don't even want to because I don't get... I get better prices from the, the gentleman here, so... I should, uh... I should really only go with Finnis and, uh... Finnis isn't even home. I don't care. Is my carry weight? 99? Okay, that's low enough. I don't need to go empty out before going to get our level. So, we're going to go level up our illusion. Uh, one of the easiest places, I think, to level up my illusion right now is going to be 
the Ember Shard Mine. Uh, so we're going to go to the Ember Shard Mine. And I'm just going to keep casting different spells on this, uh, this bozo that's outside the mine. See? Chill out. Chill out. Just make sure I'm leveling up here. Yep. Chill out. Perfect. Easy peasy. Quiet casting. Mine. So good. Now all our spells we cast, no one hears us. So, gotta love that. Uh, so next, let's go to Sarthal. We actually do our skill training with Tolthia right now if we really wanted to, but I don't really want to. What's going on behind me? See? There's always fucking something happening back there. Alright. I'm gonna zip over here, talk to Tolthier, and I wanna buy some type of alteration spells. What do I have? I have Stone Flesh. Let's see if there's any other ones I want. Books. Detect Life will be very good. It's freaking expensive, man. Yeah, but it's really good. I get Detect Life. Um. Paralysis Rune is actually really good too, guys. Um, that's added from one of the DLCs, so I won't use that right now. But uh, I guess I'll get my money back from this guy because he's a—he's also a male, so I'll get better prices with him. As long as I have like, as long as I'm floating a few thousand gold, I'm all right. So let's go to books. Boom. So. Uh, we're gonna be using. We're gonna be able to be using a lot of these spells um, through Ilianata's Deep. So I'm gonna favor both these, and we're gonna unfavorite uh, Reanimate Corpse. We're probably not gonna be doing any, any of that anymore. It just didn't work out as I thought it would. All right. And finally, Ilianata's Deep. Find Azura's Star. So this is uh, it's very similar to the last area we cleared. I don't know what it is with Daedric artifacts and mages, but this is full of mages. Powerful mages. So, make sure I got all my equipment on. I got my muffle boots on here. Yep. Hide. Ring in a mirror, novice hood. I still don't have a... Uh... Who's detecting me? I still don't have an amulet. <laughs> okay. Creepy, eh? Oh, there's a knapsack here. He must be the fisherman here. Oh, I think I can open the shackles and he'll fall. Yeah. Maybe? I don't know. Okay. So, like I said, there's a lot of uh, a lot of bad goons in here. Sanguine Rose. Um, actually, I should favor that. I'm going to put that to two. It is going to be crucial here. Um, so I need to go up there. Uh, stone flesh can get set to six. I'm not gonna have healing on a hotkey. So now we can do this to kind of level up our alteration. Yeah, because now no one is uh, no one's gonna hear us casting our spells, so we can just cast them whenever we want. So there's gonna be some baddies in here. Um, I think I'm going to try Fury to start, actually. So there. Now the skeleton's pissed off the other guy. Oh, he resisted Fury. Oh, yeah, because he's not humanoid. Durr. I'm retarded. You can't uh, Fury things that aren't humanoid. Yeah, so we can just do this to level up our alteration. We won't have to pay for a lot more skill training. Have fun with that, buddy. Yeah, so that Dramor is going to get in there and put in work. Yeah, he'll... Oh. So the Dramor will wipe the floor with that Necro. I just don't want to get killed by him, too. But I would like to get some slashes in here. Boom. Nice. So, as I said in uh, the last video, when we acquired this artifact, it is very powerful. Um, and we'll do this very well. Salt piles, what else we got in here? Um, yeah, let's feed on them too. Figure might as well have the health and regeneration bonus. Can't hurt to have right now. 
Um, cool. Give me all your shiz. Alright, back to crouching around. So there's a lot of soul gems in here. Um, I still, I'm not sure if any of the DLCs add a use for the soul gem fragments. I think some of them do. Uh, but normally soul gem fragments don't have any use. Bye, Dramora. So, I'm sure there will be more, more folk in here. Oh boy. Sorry guys, camera's going a little crazy here. There we go. Huh, he brought to life that guy that's... Um, chill out lady. Jamora wiped the floor with that guy. Uh, I just want to search her. Give me all her stuff. There we go. Like I said, the Jamora is going to be doing a lot of work for us now. That's why I made it such a high priority to get that artifact. I want to search. Nice. Spell Tome Candlelight. That's actually useful. I'm going to use that. Paralysis Poison Recipe. Briar Heart Swamp Fungal Pod. I'm sure everyone's wasting their very, very expensive Briar Hearts on that nonsense. Now, sorry, that got a little crazy there for a second, folks. I forgot, like, I just, I don't really, I don't fully remember what's all in here. I know there's a lot of baddies. Oh, fuck. Is there just a single skeleton in there? There's gotta be a guy that conjured it. Uh, is it a skeleton? No, no, nothing that conjured it. All right, fine. Take the bone meal. Uh, uh, alchemy barrel. Oh darn! I was hoping it was an alchemy barrel. For anybody that hasn't watched any of my previous videos, what an alchemy barrel is is sometimes you find barrels that have between three and f two and five, two and five uh, of a random alchemy ingredient in them consistently. Um, so they can be really good. You can get like five canis root, which is like a very expensive. They usually only plant things though. I don't think you can get like. Not just plants, okay? I'm not being... That's being... That's a shitty way of being descriptive. But, uh... Um... There's a guy right around here. Sorry. Um... But you can't get, like, briar hearts. That ah, dude brought a dog back to life. Oh, man. There's a lot of guys over there. Okay. That's fine. Like I said, my Dramora is strong. He can handle this. Calm down. You're pissed now. You're gonna go play my Dramora. Okay, why are you backing it up into me? Go fight him. Man, he's coming for you, buddy. I just didn't want her to turn around and start walloping on me, so. Unfortunately, I feel like I put too many perks into one handed, guys. I feel like I dumped too many perks into one-handed, and I think that's caused me uh, to be low on perks because if I had a few more, I'd be doing, I'd be a little bit easier off. But I think I put like three perks into the one-handed tree because I thought the mace would be a lot better than it is. What did I put in? Oh, I only put two. Okay, two's not too bad. I just thought the mace of Molly Bow would be a little better. Troll fat, nice. I find it really interesting that you uh, brought a wolf back to life. Ooh, a gold necklace. Um, so I know there's some treasure or something down here. I'm going to quick save before I go down here, just in case there's like an enemy or something I don't want to deal with. There's also a skill book down here you guys can get. I'll point it out to you. It's right there. Uh, it's an alteration skill book. I'm not going to get it because I'd rather save it and level up later using it. Okay. Let's swim out of here. Look around here. You never know what these places. There could be a chest buried behind here. Uh oh, am I dying? Oh, okay. Boom. Okay. Keep putting the wabajack on. 
I still love the Wabajack. Okay, so we just did a quick save. Make sure we're safe here. <laughs> yeah, let's just sleep in Ilinata's deep. That sounds like a fucking fantastic idea, huh, guys? Oh, wow. This jug right here that I'm looking at, guys, I thought it was someone sitting on the table. I was like, well, since when do NPCs sit on the table? Okay. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Better turn around, Jamar. Get in there. There you go. Wipe the floor with those guys. Look at that. He, like, kills them in, like, a few hits. Kill him. Is he fucking bugged or something? He's stuck on the wall? Kill him. Now kill this guy. Got him. Easy. Oh, what do we got here? More soul gems. There's lots of soul gems in here, because this is kind of like the soul gem study. Mm, I don't really know what's back there. I'm not going to pick... Uh, I really should. I could probably use some of the... Oh, nice. Fire salts and stuff. I like it. Okay. Let's creep along here. always scares me guys it scares me so much when i hear like my dramora die or a skeleton groan like it always freaks me to freak out all right let's see what's back here that was so creepy i don't know if you guys could hear that you might have to have your volume really loud but i heard like a groan like a like somebody was like, resurrected. It looks like there's, like, a bug over here. Like, this lady thinks she's still resurrected, but she's not. Also, this light's freaking me out here. They really give you a lot of, uh, a lot of Magicka and, like, Max Magicka potions. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. I'm getting a lot of them. Like, Extra Magicka, 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 Plentiful Magicka. Like, getting just Drought of Extra Magicka. Like, I'm getting a lot. Okay. Anyways, let's proceed. The weird enchanting tables along the way always kind of freak me out. They're kind of cool, but, like... The only thing I could think of using them for would be to, uh... Where are we at here? Oh, fuck. Would be to, uh... Enchant something that, uh... You weren't going to, uh... Want to carry around, because it was heavy. Okay. That's an ascendant necromancer. That guy's tough as nails. But I'm not really worried. I think my Dramora will will wipe him wipe him up quick. I just don't want to get hit by that spell. You see that spell right there? That spell will fuck me up. Drop a quick save here in case things go poorly. Oh wow! Is he gonna kill my Dramora? Oh, he's gonna kill me. Okay. There we go. Okay, Dramora. Why are you? Oh, you just killed my Dramora. Jeez. Um, use a couple healing potions here. I need to get a clear line on him where he's not using that spell. I want to hit him with some Wabadat charges, but... Ow, okay. Oh, fuck. He's focusing me all of a sudden. Finish him, buddy. Okay, he's down. Finish him. I don't want him to try to heal himself. Okay. Whew. Speed on him. Throw to the healer. Elemental bolt. Cool. So, yeah, I think he might have been the big baddie in this area. Because it just made that sound as though, like, you cleared this shit out. Might as well quick save after that. So as everyone can see, the uh, the Dramora does a really good job of tanking for me. Uh, there's a chest in here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. I thought there was. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to go unlock some door. It's like a lot of work. 
so much freaking hate kicking stuff around. Sometimes you die when you do that, so. Alright, so what do we got in here? Bound sword, dwarven bow. Cool. Alright, pull the chain. Oh, for whatever reason I needed to do that, I'll pull it again. Okay. So we're not out of the woods yet, guys. We're not out of the woods yet, it doesn't look like. Actually, I'm pretty sure this room is full of good stuff. Um, there's like a shrine in here and stuff, I'm pretty sure. I want to open this room. I want to go in here for sure. I don't really want to level up my lock picking too much, but yeah. Um, is this the room I to go? Ah, these are alchemy barrels, see? This is not the room I was thinking of. But that's okay. I'm gonna actually, uh, where's my weapon? Where's the Wabajack? Let's make sure we got a char some charges on the Wabajack in case I need it. There. So that's the next step up there. Anything over here? Nope. So to Elianata's deluge. So this is going pretty well, guys. I'm pretty pretty happy with what's happening right now. Leveled up. Let's see if I can calm one of these guys down so they'll chill out while the while my guy kills the other guy. Yeah. No, it doesn't end now. Well, the other end is you gotta kill this guy for me, buddy. Yeah, novice is in a tr trouble. That ascendant was strong though. He he wiped the floor with my Dramore. Kill the one you're focusing on. Perfect. Good job, buddy. Good job. Might as well feed. Feeding is annoying. I guess I can kind of... It looks like I can skip, click through it. Uh, the Doors of Oblivion, that's a skill book that I don't want to get. Uh, Conjuration. Okay. Ah. Check these barrels, just in case they're alchemy barrels. They are. See? I search this chest yet? Nope. Okay. I'm not sure which direction I'm supposed to go in, so I don't want to not go the. Oh, okay, this is like a, a loot room. Hmm. Lots of stamina potions. Ooh, that's a big healing potion. I like that. Anything else hidden in here? Okay. On we go. La, 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 la. As you can see on our little map, we are almost at Azura Star. And I think so far this uh, this run has gone pretty well. I was kind of concerned it was going to be really difficult, so. Okay, so the door's open. I gotta wait till that guy turns around and I want to fury him. But he can't see me right now. He's gonna turn around, yeah. I don't know, wait till he gets a little closer to that other guy down there. Actually, maybe I'll fear the other guy. That's a good idea, actually. Direct hit. Oh, shit. What happened here? Why is he chasing me? What the fuck? I thought I feared that one guy. Oh, it's because it's a skeleton. There we go. Ooh, that guy's tough. That guy's gonna be tough as nails, guys, just so you know. Perfect. Ah, 
crap. Yeah, I was worried about that. There we go. Got him. any of these locks I don't think just for the reason of lock picking I don't care that much oh scared me again it scares me every fucking time when that happens guys I swear I feel like such a little girl sometimes okay so the stars right in front of this guy I wonder if I can just calm him and take off because I think that's Oh, it isn't right in front of this guy. Okay. I think it's up here. Yep. Take the star, search Malin, take Malin's book, go through the chest, and we're out. Elianata's deluge cleared, guys. So we are going to bring the star to Nelikar or to the Shrine of Azura. As you can see, it's going to give us two options. We going to Nelikar. It's pretty much um, always better to go to Nelikar, guys. Just so you know, for people that weren't aware. And we're out. So I'm very happy with how that whole run went. I know I didn't kill that final guy in that room, but I think it was just easier to calm him and take off. I might have been able to just sneak right past him, but I think it was better to do it this way. Okay, so. We're going to call it a video here, guys. Uh, in the next video, we will be getting set up to go inside Azura Star. So let's just take a look at it real quick here. There it is. It's all busted up. Drop that bowl. See, this is all broken. I want the new hotness, not the old and busted. Alright, so thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next video.